Guten Abend, YouTube. This is Lego Noki and one-on-one speaking. Now, today I'm going to be reviewing Binnacle set number 71308 Tahu United of Fire. Comes with 132 pieces, as you can see before you. Some of them have been a lot, are a lot more interesting this time. Particularly these pieces. I'm pretty sure these are... These are actually new to Lego. These are basically... These are uh, basically the same as these guys, only instead of being five long, they're three long. I mean, bring up a number three arbor piece for comparison. So these, ac so these axles with the flat end are three long, and as you can see, they're in a uh, brown color. And a lot of stuff is just in new colors. These... These brought guys, I'm not sure if we've gotten in Dark Azure. Let me know in the comments if we... Ever... If we've ever had that happen. These pieces are... I think they're new colors, actually. Particularly... Particularly the number sixes. I'm, I'm also not sure about the number fives. Again, let me know in the comments. The here we have the uh, jagged armor add-on pieces from the from summer 2015. It would appear to be a gold color, which is pretty nice. And then, of course, the uh, crystal. The crystal anons with a gold base, and then this time they're in a transparent vermilion. Then Tahu comes with not one, not two, but three unity pieces. Some of which are going to be used as armor, which is kind of neat. Then I'm pretty sure these six longs we never gotten in red up until winter 2016. Let me know in the comments. And then, uh, here are the masks, the original and golden, both of, both of which look pretty neat. And then, these, these we, we haven't gotten in a while. These are the, uh, seven long upper limb bones with the swivel end. Kinda nice to have these guys back. So, yeah, that's it for parts, and I'll be right back. And here we have Tahu all built up. Hmm. Let me just say this color scheme is really interesting. The transparent vermilion, the gold, some red, and a little bit of dark azure between. It really does bring out the fire in this guy. And again, action feature, you all know this by now. It's kind of point to be. I don't really see the need to put a knob in there when you can just rotate it freely. Besides, removing the knob does give you a bigger range of posability. That's just my opinion. Now, overall, I do like what this guy's going for. There's some, uh, gold, to like the gold going down the arms, feeding into a transparent vermilion. I do also like the, the use of the unity pieces as bits of armor. That, that's actually pretty handy. The, the twin swords. There's your action feature. Now, even though I'm against swords nowadays, they do do look pretty interesting. And I think that this action gimmick might might be handy for enhanced play value. Like, say you're like say you're not unified, you can maybe have the sword in this position, and then when you're unified, you basically have this. That, that might be handy. 
and for the chest plate. Central character is the Duva symbol for fire. Hmm. I have to. I have to say, I kind of like the whole red background color, though. Not quite sure about the amount of blue in here. While it is minimal in Tom Hoot's color scheme, fearless. If you're still too much of it in a certain area, it might clash. And then, of course, here's the mask. That's interesting. You feel as though you all Bionicle fans might, might be thinking about Top. Top who's 2001 mask. And, of course, pop it off. Switch that with the gold and just say golden mask on him kind of looks a lot better on him. It really matches up with the gold on the rest of his body. Yeah, <laughs> excuse me. Overall, based on the design of the figure, right? See, not much. Changes required. The only thing would, the only thing that I think should be changed is the addition of these pieces, which also haven't been used for a while. I remember these guys were introduced in Hero Factory or Deal of Fire, but after that, they weren't really all that used. So here you go. Here's a new use for them. Also, I'm not quite sure why these guys are movable. Might just be a design. Might just be in the design. Or. Eh, I don't know. So, yeah, that's uh, pretty much it for Tahu. Please rate, comment, and subscribe. And this is like a Noki 101 saying, Alpha Zane.